Hey guys, uh, one more real quick update on the motor mount. Check it out, we got the slots done. So I had it clamped like this, as I showed you, and uh, cut the bolt heads. These are my, uh, this is for my 1032. And then I flipped the part over and machined that mistake because we don't flip parts over that way. We flip them this way. Mm. See, it's not, it's not symmetrical on the X, symmetrical on the Y. Oh, so a little bit of a mistake there. You can see it got into the wall. Uh, not a big deal. I mean, it's cosmetic. It's not getting in the way of the bolt. But other than that, a uh, small problem. Um, and luckily, I caught it after just the first slot. Uh, yeah, multiple setups. Successful, I'm going to call it. 75% um, successful. Let's see, that's a B plus, or is that a C minus? Uh, oh, well. You can see the bolt head goes in perfectly. Got a little bit of room. It spins freely. Very nice. Uh, there's enough sticking out the bottom to uh, grab onto the uh, standoff, which is fine. Um, if you've got more than the width of the bolt in threads, then I'd say that's good. And I've got probably 150% uh, of the bolt width, so I'm not worried about using a longer bolt. Although I have drilled and tapped the standoff um, holes deeper, so I can run a deeper bolt if I ever need to. Um, this one, of course, is just ugly, but uh, you'll never see it. Um, it still works perfectly. There's really no need to have these bolt heads below the surface other than that's the way I wanted it to look. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. C-minus. <laughs> uh, scroll down, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.